Vados was destroyed, and Goku felt extreme pain after seeing that sight. This cannot be true. These people must have found some secret. I eliminated them before with ease. What kind of power is this that made them reach this powerful combination? Well, Goku, let me tell you the truth that our union is what makes us gain this strength. It is the secret of this success and what makes our strength multiply hundreds of times. Well, then I have to say that you did something right, but this will only make you regret your rebellion. I will avenge my father first, and then I will avenge my people, and then this devastation that you have caused upon them. Your punishment is severe and difficult, and I will not have mercy on you. In the meantime, Goku worked to resort to one attack, which he will use as his trump card. This attack must succeed for him, otherwise he will not be able to win. It is the Dragon Fist attack, which he left for a final stage like this, where he will invest it in this conflict. Indeed, Goku increased his strength and issued this attack, and its speed was extremely high, but will it actually succeed or not? The entire area was destroyed, the place was affected, and everyone was staying away for fear of being exposed to this threat. Goku was extremely exhausted as he looked at the results of this strike, and after he saw that, he was shocked to see that the rulers of destruction had not been eliminated, but that his body was quickly pierced by them after they took advantage of his inattention. Goku was greatly harmed after he lost control from all the rulers of destruction who merged and produced a very advanced form. Vegeta stood by Goku and claimed that he wanted to provide assistance, especially since the situation was dangerous for everyone. The cosmic order has been destroyed and they must unite to stand with Goku so that he can triumph and avenge for his father Bardock. Of course, Bardock was also harmed in this brutal war. Note that he came in a new form and was almost stronger than Goku, but even so, that was not enough in the face of the merger of rulers who became terrifying in this form and who claimed that they would fight for control of the entire world. I think you should leave this fight to me. It's clear that your energy reserve is no longer reliable. Vegeta, no matter how strong you are, I'm sure you won't be able to control them. They're stronger than I ever imagined in my entire life. We must rely on fusion. This is our last chance. It must succeed. Vegeta was not willing to take this step as it made him feel inferior and also a kind of weakness, so Goku struggled to convince Vegeta until he was satisfied with this idea, considering that it was his only idea to stand against this villain. The two took fusion as their last option after losing their energy reserves to a large extent. Thus, the warriors returned to the test, and the villain was also ready to measure their level. Bardock was impressed by his son's level of strength. He was proud of him, as he did not think he would reach this position before. Bardock said to himself that he came with the intention of taking revenge, but now he finds the opposite of what he intended to do. Goku is now the one who wants revenge and wants to vent his anger to make his father cherish him and live a stable life after he came back to life. But how did Bardock come back? There is an important secret that Goku must know, but Bardock deliberately kept it until the end, and so he said. Kakarado, you must realize that you do not yet know the truth of everything that happened. If you win, your reward is that I will tell you the truth, and I am sure that you will be very happy. So defeat him, and do not hold back. We want to see you at the top Kakarado. A great explosion occurred in existence between the two. Their strikes were expanding throughout the universes, which created terror in the minds of all creatures. It is worth noting that the fusion of Goku and Vegeta will not last as long as possible, so their giving was enormous in these moments, considering that the fusion may end after a few minutes. Therefore, this cost the two of them a great drain of strength, while for the other party, their fusion was permanent, and it is a technique that the rulers of destruction rely on. To resort to this fusion that will last with them indefinitely. At this moment, the villain decided to extend his hand as a last attack to eliminate him. However, thanks to his superior speed, Gogeta was able to avoid this attack and rush with all his might at the villain in a deceptive way. Well, you're starting to get on my nerves. I will not continue this farce, I will end your affairs. If you see in yourselves that you are a source of intimidation and a danger to me, then this will only provide me with mockery and laughter. You are just a swindler, and you will see that. In any case, what matters to us is that we want to achieve victory for everyone. You were the best rulers ever hosted to run this existence, but your rebellion made you lose your status and look like fools. You have no fate now except death. The villain got angry at this time and could no longer bear what Gogeta was saying, so he used all his strength at this time. It seems that the climax of the fighting has arrived, 
and only the final touches remain. After struggle, stubbornness, and clinging to life, Gogeta triumphed in the end and proved to everyone that he is worthy of help, trust, and victory, and there was no trace of the villains left. Bardock was happy about this matter, especially since he was the source of all this trouble, as he suddenly appeared to tell Goku the truth about the rulers of destruction's betrayal of him. None of the angels remained alive at this moment except for Vados, who stood next to Goku and who was now happy with these results. After the priest rebelled and was offering a helping hand, he now confessed his guilt and claimed that he would compensate Goku for everything he had lost and would punish the rulers of destruction even after their death, while Vados would be rewarded with a very large reward. So after the fusion of Goku and Vegeta broke up, Bardock intervened and thanked Goku and Vegeta and decided now to inform everyone of the truth about his appearance and how he returned to life. And here is where Bardock claimed that Vados was the cause of all this. Goku was surprised and said, how did this happen? How Vados was in the world of the living. She did not tell him anything about Bardock. Here Bardock respond by saying that he had received some visits in the world of the dead from Vados, who was providing him with a helping hand and allocating training sessions for him to advance in order to take revenge. This is because he made an agreement between him and Vados to go through these steps and thus surprise Goku with this surprise. Goku was impressed by what Bardock said and he was impressed by what he did, and here he claimed to say that he wanted to reward Vados with the greatest position instead of remaining just an assistant. The priest spoke in the meantime and said, Well Goku, if you want to reward my daughter Vados, then I will be your helper in the meantime. Also, let me tell you that the rulers of destruction will not return to life, while the angels will return to life, but we will bring them back to life, but on the condition that we want them to apologize before you and bow before you in apology for what they did. This is my duty towards you Goku, and you can do whatever you want in other tasks. All the angels came back to life thanks to the priest and bowed before Goku to apologize to him for what they had done because of their rebellion. Goku was proud of this position, and so he thought of running a position as well and relying on the management of the affairs of all shareholders by giving orders to them as punishment for what they did to him. Bardock returned to safety and was also accompanied by Goku on his own planet. Goku also thought about bringing his mother back to life. Goku was rewarded by the priest by bringing his mother back, and so the family lived in peace alongside Goku. Indeed, all the universes that were erased as a result of the Tournament of Power have been restored. This is because the events were taking place implicitly in the Tournament of Power, and everyone was proud after they discovered the truth of the matter. Thus, Bardock gained a very high position, and everyone began to respect him after he intervened and told everyone the truth and also unshackled a group of assistants from the rulers of destruction who were giving them orders in a provocative manner. Here ends this story guys, share your thoughts with us in the comment and do not forget to support us with a like and subscribe to the channel and we will meet in a new story.